So before we get into the video, who do you think has the steeziest front crook in skateboarding? I feel like in skateboarding, there are tricks that are kind of like put on a pedestal. Like if you see somebody do this trick at the skate park, you automatically kind of like unwillingly give them your respect. Like if somebody does a front crook, you're kind of like tricked into respecting them against your own will. So the question today is what does it take to command that kind of respect? Well today, Jamie Foy is gonna show us. Jamie Foy did this video on the barracks where he broke down his own process for learning front crooks. This is a trick that did not come easily to him. It was a trick that he really had to work at. And so today, we're gonna copy Jamie Foy's process to try and learn front crooks the Jamie Foy way. I hope you guys are enjoying Jamie Foy week. Subscribe if you like these videos. You can follow me on Instagram, at the local Joe. Before we learn front crooks, let's get warmed up. So this is a video that I actually tried to film about three months ago, but I ended up getting smoked, like just stuck on the ledge and then fell straight to my back and I decided that I would wait a few months before I try to tackle this one again. But hopefully this goes better this time around. So step one to learning front crooks is just to learn what the pinch feels like. So Jamie Foy just talks about standing on the ledge in that pinch position with the front crook and just getting the muscle memory down for what that feels like to give you kind of the end goal of what you're ollieing into. All I would do is stand next to the ledge, not moving. I figured like learning how to hold it first is the important part. I put my board into a front crook, stand on it, figure out where like you put pressure on your toe. And just like when you're standing in the front crook, balancing on a ledge, you kind of just feel how it locks. So it's like, you kind of like, that's all skating is muscle memory. So once you feel, get that feeling, you're like, all right, now I just need to imitate that going somewhere. Step two is just to wax the ledge until you hate yourself wax the hell out the ledge. I wax I wax the ledge a lot. When you're trying to learn a, a trick like a front crook and you want to hold it, friction is not your friend. And just practice over and over and over. And that's pretty much all I did. And I just started like holding it and it started working. And then step three is just to ollie into the pinch. Basically, we're just trying to figure out what we're aiming at, what the pinch feels like, and then start to ollie into it. When I learned how to back crook, the ledge I learned on was extremely, extremely slick. And I was just trying to ollie into a stall but because it was so slick I ended up crooking a little bit like probably six inches and then falling out but I think that is probably the best way to learn it and that's what I'm gonna try today is just really wax the crap out of the ledge and then try and ollie into some stalls and then gradually just kind of add a little bit of speed and reduce the friction on the ledge and then hopefully we can come away with the front crook so step four he doesn't actually talk about which is getting out of the trick so I'm just improvising with back crooks you kind of just do like a nollie pressure thing out of it so I kind of just think ollie up and then nollie out he doesn't really give any direction as far as that bit goes so I'm just gonna do what makes sense I guess there are a few other things that I'm gonna be keeping in my head about how this trick works and I'll let you guys know what those are a little bit later but for now we're just gonna stick plain and simple to what Jamie Foy mentioned in his video on the barracks so with that being said let's go ahead and try and learn some front crooks the Jamie Foy way you
first front crook ever. That was beast. So happy with that. I mean, obviously it was like really slow, but because it was slow, you could see that I was pinching it the proper way. And somehow, luckily, I just was able to pop out at the end. And honestly, I was surprised that my board was underneath me. I feel like I'm getting the hang of this trick, but I wanna do five more on that ledge and then see if I can do it on the bigger ledge. So yeah, let's see if we can do it. You. to get another clean one. I think I got at least one other sketchy one and then one that wasn't even a make, I guess. But I do have to say that the wax is key. At least for me, this trick is already so difficult to get into the proper position. The last thing that I want is for it to stick when I get there. So as I went through, as I was skating it, I think I could have added a little bit more wax because it started to get less slippery, obviously, the more that I skated it. But my mentality was like, well, you gotta do it because the normal ledge is not always gonna be waxed, so you gotta be able to skate anything. But honestly, as far as like learning the trick, I probably should have just waxed it some more and just kept it really iced up. I think I probably would have landed more had I done that. But needless to say, I didn't do the big ledge. But I'm still hyped with my progress. This is one that I'm gonna keep working on. Probably do another video about front crooks next week and just see if I can get some consistency to it. So the thing that helped me was number one, putting my head over my front bolts as I was rolling up to it, but then only jumping up with my back foot. That combination of putting your head over the front truck, but then jumping with your back foot helps pop you right into the perfect position. Then from there, the thing that I struggled with was keeping my head inside the ledge. So if you go on top of the ledge, if your head goes over and is floating above the ledge, you're just gonna end up shooting out. You're gonna lose the pinch. And so there's this area where your head needs to go. It's kind of like over your heel or just behind like where your heel is, kind of like up in that area. But basically keeping your weight on the inside of the ledge and pressuring with your toe. That's what I kept thinking about. And each time that I was able to do that correctly, it worked for me. I was able to get in there and slide. And then from there, it's just a matter of gnawing out. Honestly, I think getting out of the trick is not too hard. It's just, I need the rep getting into it so that I can start to focus on getting out of it. But I really think that the keys for me was head over the front foot, jump up off of your back foot, keep your head on the inside of the ledge, and then pressure with the toe. I know that's like four things, and that's why I was having such a hard time, because it, it's it's kind of a complicated trick. You kind of have to teach yourself to do four things at once. So this is definitely gonna take some time for me to master, but I do think that we're on the right track. If you're somebody that already knows how to front crook, and you have some insight into what helped you learn it, drop it in the comments below so I can read it, and so everybody that was watching this can learn from your mistakes and hopefully figure out this trick. I feel like the one that I did do though was pretty pinched and that was the whole goal of the video was Jamie Foy taught me how to pinch front crooks. I wouldn't say I have it mastered but I do think that I'm well on my way to figuring it out. So I hope you guys are enjoying Jamie Foy week. Drop it in the comments below what kind of Jamie Foy video you would like to see me do and I want to keep on doing series like this of you know, a, a week dedicated to products and things about one specific skater. So drop it in the comments below who you would like to see me do a week of videos about. So hopefully that video was enjoyable for you and hopefully we can get those front crooks on lock. So if you like these videos, subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at the local Joe. Remember to make every single day a Friday. New shirts coming on Monday and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.